Next up, we're going to SSH to our Raspberry Pi. So in order to do this from a Mac, you can open up the terminal. There's an SSH client that's built in, or you can use the PuTTY client. I show how to install this and get this set up in a, another section in the course, connecting remotely to your Raspberry Pi. Or if you're using Windows 10, you can en enable the new built-in SSH commands. So I'll post a link here as a resource, and if you go to this page, it actually shows you how you can install this as an additional feature or an optional feature and enable the SSH client. So this is already built into Windows 10. So you can do that if you're on a Windows 10 machine. So let's go ahead and fire up a terminal here on the Mac. So once you have your terminal fired up, you can type in SSH Pi at, and you can paste in the IP address of your Raspberry Pi and hit enter. And you'll get a prompt to continue connecting to accept the authenticity of the host. So we know that that's the IP of our Raspberry Pi. And let's type yes. And for the password, the default password is Raspberry. So it's R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y. So once we do that, now we are actually connected to our Raspberry Pi. So we can do an LS, we can see the files on the system. And next, let's go ahead and do the configurations that we need to do in Raspberry Config. And we need to tweak three separate settings. So let's type in sudo raspberry-config, hit enter. And now we are in the Raspberry Pi configuration module. So the first thing we need to do is enable the VNC server. So if we use the down arrow, we can go down to interfacing options, hit enter, and we can go down to VNC, hit enter, and it will ask if you would like the VNC server to be enabled. Yes, we do. So you can use the left arrow, select yes, hit enter, then hit enter again on OK. So once that's set up, next we want to select to boot to the desktop. So if you use the down arrow and you want to go to boot options and you want to select desktop CLI, choose whether to boot into a desktop environment. So you want to hit enter and we want to select the last option desktop auto login so that's the desktop auto login and automatically logged in as the pi user so you want to select enter last but not least let's specify a screen resolution so we need to set this up so that we can connect to our pi so to do that let's use the down arrow and we're going to go to advanced options and we can go down again to resolution to set a specific screen resolution, hit enter. And I am just going to select the highest resolution here, which is 1920 by 1080, because I have a high resolution monitor that I am working with. But again, you can select whatever resolution is pertinent to you. And this isn't fixed. If you select something that doesn't look quite right, you can always go back in and change it when you connect back again to your Pi or when you connect via VNC. So go ahead and select an option here. You can select the highest resolution if you choose so. And if we push the right arrow, we can go down to OK and hit Enter, hit Enter again. And once that's done, hit the right arrow and you'll come down to select Finish and hit Enter to finish. And now you'll be prompted to reboot your Raspberry Pi. So go ahead and select yes to reboot your Pi. And it will, of course, disconnect from the SSH session. Give it a couple minutes. And once your Pi is back up, let's proceed to connect via VNC.